go to the next slide i will show so this is the syllabus four modules of uh, initially you just uh, focus on module number 1 which includes introduction to principle of management the basic concept of principle function and level of management and skill and role of managers school of management thoughts re scientific classical behavioral and modern the next is contribution of principle of management in the field of management by various uh, philosophers that is peter f duckner michael porter c k prahlad dinand macrol regin likert and miss kensi so these are the basics uh, content of your module number 1 the next is your reference textbooks uh, the these books are uh, presently available in your library uh, that is uh, management theory and practice text and cases by subha rao and uh, hima bindu that is under himalaya publications the next book is uh, by call uh, under the publication of vikas that is principle and practice of management the third book that is principle and uh, practice of management that is pillai under the publication of hsa and the last book is management text and cases that is bsp rao under the publication of excel books so before starting the topics so these are the uh, if you go to the introduction of uh, principle of management why principle of management very much uh, important in case of these multinational companies the thing is that this company is very much famous due to their principles if you take the example of coca cola india private limited if you take the example of mahindra and mahindra if you take the example of infosys if you take the example of tata if you take the example of aditya billa group even if your last one that is itc so these group are very much famous for their principle of management how they manage their different level of man management in such a way that they can uh, sustain survive and success in the market so i will show the some uh, case studies during my presentations in the online classes so if you go to the basic definition of management in that case go to the next slide so if you go to the point number 1 management means for men of every age which also includes women the management includes three aims for consideration while dealing with managerial solutions so what are the three aim the first aim start uh, stand for that is materials do not create much of management crisis that is consistent in that case that is, these are the basic resources of any kind of industries whether it should be belong to service industry whether it should be directly involved in case of productivity or pr product industries so these are the basic resources for any kind of industries these these are directly convert this material is considered as a input which is directly convert convert into a finishing product the next uh, m stand for your machine and methods do not create much of management crisis and consistent that means what the next resources that is machines so without machines equipment tools you cannot be go for making quality of product the next the third one stand for your just a minute the third one stand for definitely that is uh, men a men that is a requirement of any kind of industry that is known as men power or in some other word it is called uh, workforce levels so these three factors namely men is the most inconsistent variables demanding a special approach in the field of management so that is why the principle of management basically stand three consideration as i as i repeat this particular things the first one is material machine and men the most important thing is your men power so that is uh, that is why if you go to any kind of industries uh, whether it should be a service industry or for example in case of hotel industry for example in case of product industry like your steel plant the hr department is very much responsible for arranging adequate and highly skilled worker for their productivities and these are under the most important thing that is the principle of management then next go to if you go to the uh, managerial definition 
as far as concern with FM trailer, which basically defines management is a art of knowing what to do, when to do, and see that it is done in the best and cheapest way. So nowadays, most of the companies are known as profit-making organizations or profit-making company. If you take the example of Tata Group, if you take the example of Mahindra and Mahindra, they have the they have they know what to do and when to do and what is the cheapest way or you can say that is a cost reduction way to do their best way so that is why if you if you just heard that word mahindra and mahindra rise that is the concept uh, launched by mahindra group even if you launch by mahindra group in that case they are directly focused on on providing sales after service I will give the best example in case of your air condition company like Carriers, in case of Tata Hitachi, in case of uh, Samsung air conditions. So these are the companies they provide sales after service. So due to that sales after service, what will happen? They, they directly focus on potential customers. And it is happened due to three things as far as concerned with the principle of management, that is man, machine, and materials. So going to the next one, the management is defined as Attainment of organization goals in an effective and efficient manner through planning, organizing, leading, controlling, organizational resources. So when someone asks about what are the different type of resources, these three are the most important resources of any kind of organizations. So talking about men, as you know, the management has three different levels. The top level of management, the middle level of management, and the bottom level of management. So it is the duty of top level of top level of management. They can lead the particular team by coordinating middle level of management and bottom level of management. And the duty of and the function of middle level management is organizing, planning, and controlling different organizational resources. And the role of bottom level of management as far as concern with the principle of management, they are the workforce. They, they do their work for a common goal. That is maximize profit with the cheapest way. So that is why nowadays companies are searching highly skilled workers. Then go to next one. That the next topic is nature of management. It is the art of getting done through the individual or groups in organizations. Management applies to any kind of organizations. The third one is it applies to manager at all organization levels. And the last one is managing each concern with productivity, which implies effectiveness and efficiency. So if you take the best example in case of Tata Nano, why Tata Nano is very much, it is not acceptable by the customer. The thing is that so due to, due to, uh, during, sorry, during, during project, in case of uh, single in uh, West Bengals, the company faces more more amount of political crisis. So due to that thing, whenever the company shifted the whole organization from Singhu to Sanan in case of Gujarat, they are searching for highly skilled manpower that they can be fulfill the demand or fulfill the productivity, which is arise in case of market. In that case, they are searching highly skilled workers. So due to highly skilled worker employed by Tata Group and, and the more amount of recent advances in case of technologies, they are fulfilled the demand of customer during that period. But the thing is that due to inefficient of design, inefficient of technical error, the product is not acceptable. That is why the principle of management should be vary from organization to organizations and different level of organization also. If you take the example of Tata Automotive Limited, in case of Tata Automotive Limited, if you ask your seniors, even if your uh, parents or in any, any relatives, why Tata Group is very much acceptable? The reason is the reason behind Tata Tata principle of management is trust, and that trust should be provided by 
by delivering quality of product and due to that delivering of quality of product to the number of potential customers due to that things should be increased the brand value so that is why more number of people directly goes to that particular companies the next is management uh, just repeat those, those themes it is the art of getting done through the individual and group in the organizations and management apply to the kind of organization also so if you, i just go to the point number 1 it is the art of getting things done through the individuals in that case i will give the best example in case of royal enfield have you heard the uh, ceo of royal enfield his name is siddharth lal he is the only one person behind the success of royal enfield why if you go to the worldwide there is no company or company ceo is not involved in case of bottom level of management but in case of siddharth lal he does break down all barriers and directly go to the productivity areas and he himself involved in the productivity activities just imagine the plant capacity is 500 number of unit in a single month the uh, in a single month that plant will produce 4500 number of units so due to his involvement or a group of organizations or individuals you can achieve achieve your common goal that is making more profit then going to the next one management apply to any kind of organizations so if you take the best uh, example in case of privatized universities in case of india in case of webport but the thing is that the beats group beats pilani group or villa group is very much acceptable in this scenario the thing is that they provide quality of educations and their principle is different how different apart from the education curriculum they are implementing different curricular activities also and due to that activities they have a particular managerial level is there the next is it applies to managers at all organization levels so in in a particular organization if you uh, go to the example of steel industry if you go to the example of uh, cement industry if you go to go to the example of process industries there are different managers are there finance manager is there production manager is there utility manager is there and there these particular principles of uh, you can say that the principle of management is applied to all type of managers if you involve in the organizations you must obey that obey the rules and regulation of that particular organizations the last uh, one that is managing a concern with productivity as you know most of the companies are directly focus on productivity if you increase your productivity with the cheapest way you can maximize your efficiency effectiveness to success survive and su sustain in the market going to the next slide this is the purpose of management if you go to the point number 1 that is the formulation of plan policies and objectives then second one is securing man material material machinery money method for the achievement the third one is putting all of them into operations the next directing and motivating the men at work then is fourth sorry next one is supervising and controlling their performance last one is providing maximum satisfaction and service level to claimant that is your employees consumers supplier shareholders and others so if you go to the point number 1 that is formulation of plan policy and objectives so every the plan policy and objective should be vary from company to companies if you take the best example in case of billa group in case of tata group if you are employee for 3 years you can return back to the, to the same companies these are the policies if you the if you are a employee of tata group then your next generation will be get employed by tata group these are the policy of tata and billa same thing happen in case of your infosys and uh, you can say it is in case of uh, tcs also the next is securing main material machinery money method for their achievement 
so whenever you implementing principle of management you secure about your total manpower availabilities good quality of raw material wealth and upgraded machinery and equipments proper sponsor or financing and the method of productivity or process of productivity for achievements so if you put all of them into a particular operational activities you can maximize your standard of your product or you can say that is the quality of product the next part is of your uh, purpose of management is that is directing and motivating the men at work so if you go to the this particular culture in case of india i will give the best example in case of charvlet so charvlet automotive private limited it is just a round off or wind off his company from india due to its cross cultural activities clear so this particular charvlet company belong to it say korean companies but due to the cultural crisis in between india and south korea the most of the companies employees belong to different castes and subcastes so it is difficult for the top level of management to motivate them and to detect them so due to their thing the company already evacuated his project from india the same same thing happen in case of posco steel in case of paradeep in case of odisha so due to lack of political issues motivating and directing by the top level of management the whole project should be vanished from from the site the next part is so i am talking about directing motivation that is why uh, a particular person is employed that is known as uh, from the middle level of management he can directing and mobilize and motivate the team for better efficiency of productivity and better involvement in case of production activities the next is supervising and controlling their performance so if you involve 20 and 30 number of employees and you are the superior of or you are the team leader of that particular team uh, team in that case you have to properly supervise how to collect the work how to engage them how to maximize their efficiency and how to control so that is why company are providing incentive and bonus the next part is that providing maximum satisfaction and service claimant so in this service claimant when a company is involved or making its project he must satisfy all levels starting from the employee level and the next is consumers the next is who are the potential supplier in case of raw materials machinery equipment tools the next is shareholder also so you have to keep all the all these point for the main objective of your principle of management going to the next one that is uh, the most widely accepted function of management are given by kunjut on odl that is planning organizing staffing directing and controlling so as i discussed in the previous slide that uh, planning should be done through the middle level of management even if they are uh, perform the duty of organizing and even if staffing and if you lead the particular team you direct and control them the next point is practically this function are overlapping in nature yes indeed these are overlappings why in some companies the top level management are also involved in case of planning in case of organizing in case of that so that is why these are overlapping in nature and the last point each function blend into the others and each affect the performance of others suppose the finance team involved in case of production activities yes indeed but the, th the decisions are little bit overlapping in case in that in that case so due to that overlapping what will happens it also affect the production activities how for example if the produ production manager code the particular equipment for a low price and uh, the finance department is not release the fund in that case it directly hamper the production activities due to on availability of that particular equipment so that is why the principle of management is very much uh, you can say that is most important uh, point or factor that directly influence the organizations where the main machine and material should be work for a common goal that is maximize the profit 
then going to the next one this is the uh, function of management uh, you can say that is uh, management cycle also so first you have to organize then staffing that means uh, dividing different level of uh, work for force for maintenance work for operation activities for packaging for loading the next is if you staffing them then directly go for the directing that means you direct them or you can assign number of duty through the workload scheduling the next is after assigning you must go for controlling for increase their efficiency and finally according to that one you must go for planning and organizing the cycle is continuously rotated for a common goals that is maximize the profit the next part is that if you go to the first one that is planning it deals with chalking out a future course of actions deciding in advance so according to quotes the planning is deciding in advance what to do how to do it's a bridge between or you can say that the gap from where we are or where we want to be the next is organizing it is the process of bringing together physical financial human resource developing productivity relations among them for achievement of organization goals for example identification of activities classification of grouping of activities assignment of duties creation of responsibility are under organizing the next is in case of staffing the third one involve filing then keep filing the position in the organization structures the main purpose of staffing is to put right men on right job that is for example that is recruiting selecting training promoting and compensating so these are the different step of staffing so whenever you get involved in organizations the recruiting should be done by the hr department even if you are selecting also and the hr department is responsible for providing adequate training through the different through the involvement of different departments then after your annual appraisals they should promote you and they after promoting they should compensating so this is the different level of staffing in case of organizations going to the next slide that is direction is the inner personal aspect of management which deals which deals directly with influencing guiding supervising motivating subordinating for achievement of organization goals so as i told in case of organization goal that is a common goal for who are directly involved in case of organizations by the help of principle of management so you have to directly influencing guiding supervising motivate and motivating your subordinate suppose you are leading a particular team you must motivate them lead them supervising them guide them and assign the duty who is educated or which is perfect for that particular job and finally the next one is controlling with the measurement and for a correction of performance activities of subordinate in order to ensure that the enterprise objectives and plan desired to obtain them as being accomplished so basically the controlling include establishment of standard performance measurement of actual performance then next is comparison of actual performance with standards and finding out the deviations and the next one is that is taking corrective action when reports in case of controlling nowadays company are using iso standards for example in case of uh, reduce the impact of environmental effect that is iso 14000 is introduced so this iso 14000 is stand for environmental management system so in case of environmental management system the employee who are directly involved in case of machine in case of uh, tools in case of uh, heavy vehicles they have to perform a standard sop that is standard operation procedures so these op standard operation procedures are written in strictly written in case of isos so those are those who are branded companies or you can say that is uh, multinational company or trusted companies they are using this iso policies and which is implemented by hr group the next is due to that policy the efficiency level of employees the uh, the next is the effectiveness of uh, productivity will be increased 
that directly affect on the quality of product. The next ISO policy, for example, in case of ISO 18,000. This particular ISO is generally, direct, or you can say that it's used uh, for, for the employees, that is occupational health and safety of employees, that is ISO 18,000. So according to that poly, uh, standard, the HR department will guiding, they provide adequate training regarding how to handle the machines, how to operate the machines, how to increase the efficiency of machine, how to uh, how to rectify an, um, more amount of uh, error and take a corrective action when required. So these are the things who, which is under the principle of management. The next one is the level and type of managers. So as you know, in case of uh, management, uh, the different levels should be divided into three types. That is top management. We can say that is top level of management. The next is middle level of management or middle type of management. And the last one is lower operation management. So we will discuss one by one. If you go to the first one, the top level of management is the executive level, composed of comparatively small group of people. And these people are responsible for overall management of an organization. They establish operating policies, guide the organization interaction with environment. An example of top level of management, that is chief executive officers, that is CEO, president, vice president, and senior executives under the top level of management. Then the next one is middle level of management. This, this particular level includes more than one level in organizations. They directly or they direct the activities of lower level of management. Sometimes uh, those of operating employees as well, they are also operating different level of employees. The senior middle level of management, that is the functional head in case of production manager, marketing manager, finance manager. In case of junior level of management, that is a divisional and sectional officer are there, deputy managers are there, branch manager there. So if you take the best example in case of SBI, State Bank of India, in that case, the president and vice president are under top level of management. Then the senior middle level, that is the functional head or circle head is there. And circle uh, marketing manager are there, circle finance manager are there. But in case of different number of branch of SBI, there are managers of that particular branch is there, deputy managers are there, and sectional officers are there. And then less, last level, that is known as lower level of management, the lowest level is an organization at which the individuals are responsible for work of others. They consist of non-management group, for example, supervisors, foremen, section officer, and the, finally the worker are including the lower level of management. Going to the next slide, so as far as policy of managerial roles by Henry Minter, Mintwork, sorry, Henry Mintwork. So as far as concern with the Henry Mintwork study enabled him to identify the 10 different but coordinating set of behavior or role that manager assumes. In that case, the 10 role can be separated into three general grouping, that is interpersonal role, informational role, and decisional role. So as far as concern with the first one, that is interpersonal role, which includes the first one is figurehead, the leader, and the license. Okay. So in case of figurehead, this is a particular person who create a basic decision regarding the organizations. A leader is a, is a consist of, or he can direct a, a particular workforce. A license either he also work as a head of the particular organizations. Going to the next one, in case of informational roles, that is monitor, disseminators, and spokespersons. So as you know, so in case of informational role, a particular person in case of any kind of organization monitor the whole organizations. Is are responsible for monitoring all kind of activities. The disseminators, the role is very much similar, and the spokesperson. Why spokesperson? In case of top level management, 
few people are hesitate in front of public so that is why they appoint spokesperson you can be representative of ceo or your vice president or your president or your senior executives the next one is that your decision roles in case of decisional roles there is uh, which basically includes the entrepreneur the distributors handler resource allocators and negotiators so you know the definition of entrepreneurs who directly funding particular organizations and some company are assigned this turbulence handler to handle different kind of activities such as political such as environmental such as land acquisitions utilities the next is resource allocators is the person who responsible for arranging all kind of resources so what are the resources of organizations that is man machine and materials these are the resources of organizations the next part is negotiators in case of negotiators the person who assign as a negotiator on behalf of company you can negotiate the different different kind of things who, who which are directly or indirectly involved in case of organizations for example in case of arranging a huge volume of machines or large volume of machines in that case they can negotiate with the companies who provide this kind of machines so through that negotiations they can be mutually understand and through that mutual understand they, the cross transferring of funds should be done so these are the things uh, whenever you go to the man managerial role by henry mintwer so i just repeat those one so as far as concern with the henry mintwer so these are three type the interpersonal roles informational role and decisional roles going to the next one that is evolution of management thoughts the scientific process school by the frederick winslow tellers so in case of scientific management also called tellerism was a theory of management which aim whose main objective was improving economic efficiency especially labor productivities its a development began with uh, tellers in the year during 80s and 90s within manufacturing industries it was one of the earliest attempt to apply science to the engineering of process and and to management so during the tellerism what happened the basic objective of this particular philosophy is improve economic efficiency especially in case of labor productivities so i will give the best example in case of uh, uh, labor productivities for example in case of tea industries the most of the tea industry in case of india established in case of northeast especially in the state like assam but the productivity of labor especially are uh, belong or you can say that is the migrant labor are belong to the neighboring state like west bengals like bihar so due to that thing what will happens the economic efficiency of that particular geographical location will be increase so due to due to this philosophy or you can say that is the scientific management it is the earliest attempt to apply the science to the engineering of process and to management also so that is why nowadays company are adopting new managerial policies for example in case of just in time concept in your upcoming semester you will learn this particular philosophies then poka ayog then seven seven ways then hosni kanati these are the different type of management policy this six sigma so if you not implement those things in your process or even if your management you cannot be uh, convert the principle of management into a scientific management so that is the concept behind tellerism going to the next one the feature of this particular scientific management process or you can say that is scientific process school by patrick uh, teller the basic features include job analysis or work study the next thing is time study motion study fatigue study standardization scientific selection and training of worker financial incentives the next is economy the next is mental revolutions so starting from job analysis uh, suppose you are establishing a small scale industries 
for auto automotive component in that case what is the basic requirement of raw material what is the basic requirement of uh, type of machines used in your industries what is the level of uh, worker that is high, highly skilled semi skilled or considered unskilled laborers that should be done through your work studies or job analysis the next is time studies in case of time studies this is directly include in case of uh, manufacturing or productivities the next is motion studies so nowadays uh, uh, different type of uh, surveillance system will be implemented for example in case of cctv surveillance so due to that surveillance you can track monitor the different activities of worker during the production activities and as far as concern with the uh, international standard so every work starting from the starting i consider it is the involvement of work from one place to other place uh, that is known as the flow of material and what type of worker involved and their their motion should be study how they handle the machine how they start the machine how they set up the machine and how they increase the efficiency of machines that should be studies then is fatigue study these are the directly include in case of error and problem which arise during the production activities the next one is standardized so nowadays uh, due to implementation of iso policies for example in case of iso 9000 so this is the particular standard for your productivities we you consider the quality of product also so you are not uh, implementing those standardized uh, system in your uh, organizations you cannot be compete or sustain in the market the next is scientific selection and training of worker so why training of worker or scientific selection the so scientific selection in case of machines in case of tools in case of uh, machineries that should be needed for comp com due to competitive yes due to competitiveness the next part is due to sustain in the market to success in the market so that is why the hr department is responsible for providing basic technical training in case of organizations and they provide the standard operating procedure how to handle the machines how to operate the machine how to avoid hazardous things how to handle the toxic materials the next is financial incentives uh, so due to that i think the in case of scientific process of, of school by fredrick fredrick the financial incentives should be provided for your for increase the efficiency of worker as well as the productivities the next is economy and next is the mental revolutions so these are the most important thing or most important features in case of scientific process school by frederick winslow winslow trailers going to the next slide the principle of uh, trailers scientific approach which basically includes just a minute i will explain going to the next slide just a minute okay um, just a minute okay in case of principle of trailer scientific approach this uh, basically include the science in place of rule of, of thumb methods uh, in that case it basically involves the rule of thumbs emphasize estimations science exactness of various aspect of work like days fair works standardization in work differential is rate for payments so in that case uh, there is no scientific uh, or science uh, there is no particular place for the science where the work is uh, like the work uh, like days fair uh, 
in case of daily wages worker then standardization in case of work then different piece rate for payments the next scientifically select train and develop so each worker rather than passively leave them to train themselves so in case of this particular approach there is no worker uh, should be passively leave it is the duty of hr department they should train themselves the next is cooperation and not individuals cooperation between manager and work can be developed through the mutual understandings and change in the thinkings the fourth one that is equal division of responsibilities so that is why in most successful companies the workload should be equally divided to different level of managers even if they also involve workers if you take the example of tata steels in case of uh, jajpur industrial area in case of jhasrugura industrial area sorry in case of uh, your uh, gopalpur tata steel project why this particular plant are non controversial because the uh, the management or you consider it the top level of management is equally division of their responsibilities they even uh, coordinate with the manager even if for your worker also so if you equally division of responsibilities the managers apply the scientific principle in case of planning of work and worker are actually perform the tasks same thing happen in case of your aditya aditya aluminum group the last point is that so in case of in case of uh, that is development of each man to get test of the efficiency and that is a uh, just repeated one development of each man to the greatest of his efficiency and effectiveness so in this point so whenever a whenever you involve a highly skilled employees each man of greatest of his efficiency if someone is uh, specialized in case of uh, handle the machines if someone is uh, someone is uh, specialized in case of uh, maintenance uh, or you can say that it sells after service or they provide adequate service to the number of work stations in that case his efficiency and effectiveness should be considered in case of your scientific approach the next one is these are the basic drawback of your tellers that is ignore human factors so if you go to the that point that is consider consider them as machine is therefore dehumanizing in nature so if you go to organization the main power is the blood of any kind of organizations without ignoring or if you ignore them your productivity will be hamper that does not mean that you consider these employees as a machines so that is why most of the trusted company or branded company are assign the human factor or main power factor for 8 hour durations with number of shifts the next is increase the monotony in work while emphasizing more on principle of improving productivity so this uh, monotony or monitoring in case of work the most important thing is skill the next is variety of skills then feedback then tasks identify sorry identity then autonomy were missing so whenever we increase monotony in case of work if you employ monopolies that is monotony is directly implies the monopoly in case of productivities it directly misses the skill variety of uh, skill even if feedback the next is tasks identity then autonomy were missing the next factor is that is human requirement wants and aspirations so that is why in case of multinational companies they the human requirements and wants in case of leave in case of incentive in case of bonus that should be ignored these are the basic drawbacks of lawyers the last one is the level of dissatisfactions 
the comparing of the performance with others while well, in many cases new way of working were accepted by workers in some cases were not the use of stop watches often was protested issue led to strike at factory where terrorism was being tested so i will give the best example or the controversial case study in case of maruti suzuki in gurugram plant so due to hike in case of delhi wages to the uh, delhi wages worker the permanent worker are go for strikes and due to that strike due to that strike the company faces 1000 crore of rupees during 90s just imagine during uh, during that period the maruti 800 and maruti alto is booming the market or boosting the market so due to that uh, increase in, in in case of delhi wages uh, worker salary they directly go to the dissatisfaction level of uh, permanent employees so due to that thing more number of controversial things should be occurred so this is the typical case studies uh, then go to the next one then second one is the management process school by henry foil so in case of henry foil is the father of management process school it was the henry foil who is the first time studied the function and principle of management in the systematic manner so this school regards management as a process of getting done through and with people operating in organizing group he identifies six type of business activity as mentioned below but concentrated more on a less common activities so these managerial activities are include technical activities the best example is production commercial activity that is buying selling and exchanging in case of financial activities that is search for optimum use of capital then security service that is protection of property and persons and the last one is accounting activity this includes strategics so nowadays in case of uh, accounting the data analysis of for its sales uh, then your purchase then uh, marketing then buying that should be done through the data analysis so apart from those thing if you go to the next slide the feller 14 principle of management so in case of feller 14 principle of management they basically include the first one is the division of work so just briefly elaborate all the things in that case the specialization of job work for work of all kind must be divided and subdivided and also allocated to various person according to their expertise in a particular area for example in case of hotel industries or service industries if you go to the place like uh, uh, mayfair if you go to the place like uh, osaka international hotels so these uh, privatized and uh, government uh, undertaking service industries they have special uh, expertise people So due to the this uh, div division of work suppose the chef is responsible for production activities of food the waiter is responsible for providing adequate service to the number of potential customer who arrive inside the premises the bellboy is receiving the goods and shifting to the rooms the housekeeping is uh, expertise in case of maintaining hygienic environment for the potential customers so if you not segregate your or you can say that this div division of your work in that case you cannot lead to the simplicity and the efficiency in case of work it also it also helps to acquire speed and accuracy in case of work the next part is that apart from those things clear there is a particular company who made a particular level or a particular place in case of hotel industries that is uh, the company or that is the hotel name is tata ginger hotels so due to division of work we just remove all the things like division of job or then uh, divided the and subdivided and, and allotted to various person according to their expertise they provide self service process that means what whenever you enter their premises in case of ginger hotels all the things starting from the Uh, only the bellboy will be receive your goods 
and uh, the receptionist will uh, enter your data in their register and all the things they should maintain in a proper way that anybody can directly go for and avail the particular product without calling the uh, supervisor or executives the next part is that the authority and responsibilities the author author authorities refers to the right of a superior to get exactness from their subordinate where responsibility means obligation for performance of job as so this is the duty of authority to write you can say that the power of superior to get exactness so what is the exact thing happen in the ground level or productivity level or soft floor level or your operational level that should be known by the uh, obligation for the performance of job assigned so whoever assume authority also assume responsibility authority without responsibility lead to the irresponsible behavior where responsibility without authority makes person ineffectiveness that is why if you go to any industries whether it should be a product industry or service industry there is, there may be a authority and that authority is monitoring tracking organizing planning coordinating and controlling all type of activities of your subordinate and they should be direct motivating even if providing adequate training to the to the subordinate in the different level like your middle level of management and lower level of management the next one is discipline according to the foil discipline means sincerity obedience respect of authority observance of rules the regulation of enterprises so this principle applies that the subordinate should respect their superior and obey their orders so every organization's discipline should be vary from organization to organization organization policies varies their discipline should be varies and they have a strict rules and regulations so whenever you involve in this particular organization you have to obey their rules and regulations so that is why as a trainee in a organization in a trainee in a company trainee in a corporate training in a bank they provide the basic rule and regulations what do what do not so you have to follow that particular rule and regulations and these are also apply to your subordinates who respect their superior and obey their orders so going to the next ones that is unity of directions the entire organization should be moving towards common objective in a common directions the related activities should be grouped together they should be done plan of actions of them and they should be under the change of particular managers so the uh, in the point of unity of direction the entire organization move moving towards a common objective or a common direction that is maximize profit clear that is why nowadays company are called profit making organizations the next part is that is subordinate of individual interest to general interest the interest of one person should not take priorities over interest of organization as a whole in that case you cannot be considered one person you must consider the whole organization that is the concept behind subordinate of individual interest to the general interest the next part is remuneration the quantum and method of remuneration to be paid to the worker should be fair for example in case of uh, top level of management they also paid they also get the remunerations but as per the rule and regulation the company fix a particular remuneration package same thing happen in case of your middle level of management same thing happen in case of your low level management so in that particular of uh, remuneration paid to the worker should be fair reasonable satisfactory and rewarding of effort so in case of rewarding of effort in case of if you go to the world biggest organization that is known as indian railway they also provide incentives they also provide bonus there is a company in case of odisha also they provide five bonus in the financial year that is known as aditya billa group also so in case of wages should be determined on the basis of cost of livings work assigned financial position of business wages state prevalence etc So these are under centralized and decentralized. Oh, sorry, that is the next point. So in case of uh, wages, the most important thing is cost of living. If you choose the wages of Delhi workers, which are available near Nepalis, 
their wages should be range from 350 to 450 rupees but if you go to the place like kerala the delhi wages should be range from 500 to 700 rupees but it it directly depends upon the cost of living the same thing uh, is uh, is differentiated in between work assignment suppose a plumber doing their job in 8 hours they get around 1000 rupees but a mason is assigned for 8 hours they get 500 rupees the next is financial position of business so due to financial position of business for example in case of itc company they also provide sales sales incentives apart from their financial bonus or financial incentive they also provide sales incentives so these are the things should be uh, considered in case of remuneration the remuneration should be fair reasonable satisfactory and they that also rewarding for efforts suppose someone is dedicatedly done each work since one year two year or even if uh, even starting from a decades you never never uh, uh, get any uh, type of uh, allegation on complaint regarding his work so in that case the company will reward even those type of employees the next part is centralized and decentralized the centralized means concentration of authority at top level and then uh, in case of decentralized means disposal of decision making authority to all level of organizations in that case the authority is concentrated in top levels that is known as centralized but in case of uh, decentralized it is disposal of decision making authorities that means what the different branches are also taking decision regarding the organization this is known as centralized sorry decentralized this is the next ones hello hello yes sir hello Yes sir. yes sir yes sir okay we will continue yes sir any doubt no sir hitika said yes sir any doubts no sir okay thank you murtunjoy patra Okay, next class we will discuss uh, this uh, uh, fellows of uh, next principle, and uh, I will uh, share the uh, PPT as well as the notes also on the upcoming uh, after two to three days. Clear? So this is the new uh, subject which is assigned to me. Clear? I hope okay. all of you okay. all of you understand. Yes, yes, Gautam, you can ask questions. hello okay fine huh? next uh, i will uh, meet on uh, tomorrow in the same time clear hello yes sir okay 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 thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir better all of you if you have doubt you can ask me huh, freely without any agitation you can ask me questions clear so that will be uh, we can make a friendly coordination starting from the middle level of management to bottom level of management clear okay. yes or no okay thank you thank you sir thank you sir